rather nice outside. That's right, the weather is finally good enough so that the piggies can go outside and we are going to pop them out in their run just for an hour or so. They are obviously going to be demolishing grass as soon as they get outside, so that's where we're going to limit it to a relatively short time. Pedro, what are you eating those for? There's fresh grass outside. Lyra knows, don't you? Just having a look over the grass, making sure there's not anything dodgy in there, no dried leaves that have come off the trees that shouldn't be there, and nothing that can do them any harm. These two very much enjoying the grass. Not being afraid at all of the random noises and cars and people round about. It's a different story over here though. We're a bit more shy and a bit more nervous of being outside. But Roxy and Phoebe haven't actually been out that much. thing about these boxes is you can spy on them <laughs> from above. Even if I'm putting them out for a short while I always like to give them hay. It's really important that they have hay all of the time even if they've got fresh grass. Lyra's hair just blowing about in the wind has to be the cutest thing ever. So they've been out a fair while now. Are you ready to go back? Well, we don't really look it. We need to go back and have a sleep. I'm just trying to get a photo of these two for the Heidi Hut thumbnail photo and <laughs> <laughs> it's just hilarious. So they weren't cooperating at all and <laughs> you can hear Roxy in the cage behind me. I, I just had to run down and get them some grass and they've just gone bonkers. They're calming down now but hey! <laughs> and don't worry, Rox... <laughs> 
Rodzi is going to get some, but I just thought I'd have I had to take a video of this because it's so funny and so so cute. Are you gonna behave now, girlies? Yes, I just want you to sit nicely and look pretty. You're very good at that. This time of year I like to dabble in some gardening, especially after a visit to a very inspiring garden centre. A big thank you to Mum for helping out. We potted up a few plants and set to work creating a mini rockery with little outdoor succulents, with pieces of terracotta, rocks and pebbles. I've never done anything like this before and was very happy with the result. Another thing we worked on was potting up a new maple tree I bought. This is a special tree, partly because I think they are so beautiful and mostly because it has been my intention to scatter willow and twiglets ashes for a while now. It was time for them to leave the piggy room and enjoy being outside, helping to nourish new life in the garden. This way they can come with us when we move to and I don't have to ever leave them behind. I couldn't record audio because I was a crying mess, but was very grateful for the opportunity to remember Willow and Twiggy in this way. So just a little piggy update for you guys. I have just spot cleaned the cage as you can see and we scattered some pea flakes around so they're going to be hunting for them. But first up we have Pedro who is unable to find any pea flakes for himself, bless him. Shall we get you one? Good boy. So first up with Pedro, I have noticed that he is due his teeth trimming. I don't know whether you can see it, there we go. <laughs> he has a very messy chin, bless him, and he's the one who's responsible for all these splatters on the plexiglass. I first noticed it with his water bowl, but he is now getting a wet chin just from drinking at the bottles as well. And in case you don't know, this is a sign that we need to look out for of piggies getting overgrown teeth. So in a couple of weeks time, I'm taking Pedro to have his mo us rasped down at the vets. We are fortunate enough to have a vet who can do it conscious. She is one of the few vets in the UK who can do conscious dentals and we're really lucky to have her. But other than that, Pedro is doing okay. He is still on the thyroid arm for his thyroid growth. Um, <laughs> but he's not losing any weight. Unfortunately, he's not gaining any weight either. But are you squeaking, darling? You very rarely squeak. I've actually never heard Pedro squeak properly. Half of the time he just doesn't notice that anything's happening and there's any food about to arrive. And sometimes he just squeaks randomly, but it's always the kind of older, piggy, raspy squeak. Bless him. So I've never heard a proper squeak. And the other piggy that I've got some updates for is Lyra here. She is just hiding away in the hay there, loving it. Some good news for Lyra is that her bumblefoot is clearing up. So in case you don't know, Lyra randomly developed bumblefoot on her back foot. And I can only assume it was a result of her heart disease because poor circulation can lead to bumblefoot, which is an infection of the foot pad. I'll put in some photos now of what it was like and it did get a little bit worse than this before it started getting better. And all I did was be really strict with twice daily salt baths with the Epsom salt and then in the end she did also have a course of antibiotics and in combination I think those two helped us get rid of it but I did a lot of research on bumblefoot and it is one of those things that can be hard to shift in certain piggies especially if it's linked to a long-term health problem such as Lyra's heart disease. So her feet aren't completely out of the woods yet they are still a little bit swollen thankfully there's no open sores on there so I'm just going to keep an eye on them 
and fingers crossed we won't have it getting quite so sore for her. And I'm just gonna end this vlog with Roxy peeking out of her little house looking very unimpressed that we are here watching her. But as ever thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed the piggies exploring the garden and just remember if you're putting your own piggies out there this year then do be careful with how much fresh grass they get in one go, try not to overload it for them and have fun and be safe out there. Thanks so much for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video, bye bye!